Hey y'all, welcome back to Just Making It With Fee, and I'm Fifi. If you're new or returning here, welcome. On this channel, I just show what I prepare for dinner for my um, my family, I guess you could say my family and I. Um, I'm often posting my pictures on Facebook of the meals that I prepare, and people are always asking, you know, how I prepare it. And as I always say, it takes too much time for me to sit and type step by step what I do. So I just thought this would be an easier solution. It's just to invite you all in my kitchen, you know, every so often, twice a week. I've been trying to do twice a week or um, if I can't do twice a week, definitely once a week just to show you what we're eating throughout the week. I try to keep my meals um, cheap and economical during this time of inflation. Um, I try my best to make my meals under, um, well, $15 or less per meal. And my meals tend to feed four to six people. So, with all that being said, welcome. And I'm just going to jump right on into what I'm going to prepare for dinner tonight. Tonight, I'm going to prepare some, I don't know what you want to call it. You know, I never know what I want to call anything because I don't follow recipes, y'all. It's rare that I follow a recipe. But, um... I guess this is hibachi. I don't think this is called Chinese food. So we're going to call it hibachi. If that's not the right name, forgive me. But um, I'm going to fix some fried rice. I'm going to fix some chicken. And I'm going to fix some veggies to go with it. Um, I pre-cooked my rice. I don't know if you all can see this. Yeah, you all can see it. I pre-cooked my rice yesterday and had it in the fridge because I find that cold rice works um better than warm rice but if you don't have time you know to cook it a day ahead or whatever and let it cool in the fridge stick it in the freezer i've done that before too you know i've cooked it and i stuck it in the freezer just to let it get a little bit hard and um that's a little tip that'll help you out then for my veggies i have some chopped up i ain't trying to put it in the pan yet y'all i have some chopped up onions zucchini and squash in here so I've already, you know, pre-chopped this. I need to season it. I knew I forgot to do something earlier. I was trying to get this stuff pre-done, but anyway. And then I'm going to add some onions inside my uh, rice and some peas and carrots. These are some peas and carrots I've had in my fridge for the uh, freezer rather for the longest. And then um, for my little sauce that I made to go over my chicken. What I did... I didn't measure, y'all know I'm not a measure. I just poured some salt, soy sauce in there. And then I poured some sesame seed oil in there. I put some honey. And some brown sugar. And then I just gave it, oh, and I did add some red pepper flakes. These are just a jar that I keep them in. It's an old uh, pasta jar. But it's a mason jar. I don't know if y'all know this too. While I'm on this. These classical jars that you get for like your Alfredo or your pasta sauce. They are real mason jars. So every time I buy these I keep them and I use them. But I have some real pepper flakes in there. So and that's all I did for my sauce. To whisk it up. I, um, I've already seasoned my chicken and well you know washed it of course. And diced it up and seasoned it and then... I put this sauce on top of it. And for my seasoning for my chicken, y'all, I had did lemon pepper, garlic, and salt-free seasoning. But I had pre-did all that stuff because I'm not trying to be in this kitchen too long today because I actually have to get ready and go to work. So, uh, I'm going to get ready and get on into it and get the moving. I hope this is hot enough. It should be. It don't take long for a walk. Yeah, it might be a little bit too hot. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. It don't take long for a walk to get hot. I'm just going to put some soy sauce in here. I'm just going to put the rest of it in here because this is about gone. This is a staple in my home. Soy sauce. And then I'm going to put some sesame seed oil in here. And as usual, I will be running down the um, prices on my price list of how much everything costs.
Then all I'm going to do is add the rice. Just this out as I possibly can. Sorry for all that scraping noise because I know it picks up very well on that video. So, apologies in advance. Okay. Then I'm just going to break this up the best way I can. And then, let me turn it up now. Turn it back up a little bit. And fry it on up. Don't take long. This is one of these meals, y'all. You don't feel like cooking, but you got to throw something on. You don't have a lot of money, but you know, hey, you got to feed your family. But you want to be full. Hey, this is a go to meal for me. Okay. And then I'm going to just throw some peas and carrots in here. This is a 12 ounce bag of peas and carrots from Walmart, but as y'all saw, it's nowhere near 12 ounces, and I don't need 12 ounces for this, but you know, you do what you do for you and your family. You want the whole 12 ounce bag, then that's what you do, but I don't require that much. I don't tend to use all of my veggies at one time when I... um. Five veggies, I try to break them up amongst meals to make them stretch longer. And this is just some diced onion that I had diced up earlier. And I'm just going to fry this on up. It's not going to take long. It's just broken up. I wish I could smell it in here. I tell you, we're always, as people I know, talk about smell of vision. If anybody can come up with that, you know you're going to be an instant millionaire. I wish I could. I wish I could. Okay. Try this on up. I'm going to pour a little bit more soy sauce in here. Hold on, y'all. Let me step away. I hear my dog doing something. Hey, pretty girl, what are you doing? You know better. Y'all, excuse me. It's always something. Hey, this is my time. Yeah, my baby girl is just like, I'm so sorry about this, y'all. My baby girl is just like a little toddler. You're not showing her enough attention. She start meddling, so you can show her some attention. But right now, I just can't do it. So if she get into anything, she just gonna get into it, and I'll deal with it later. All right, anyway, I'm gonna open up another um container of soy sauce. <sighs> And if you feed your fried rice differently from me, let me know. I'm always willing to learn new ways of doing things, but this is just the way that I do mine. Okay. I'm going to throw a little bit of complete seasoning out here just to season it up a little bit. Give it some extra flavor. And as I always say, I am not pouring this stuff on here. It's just that it doesn't come out, you know, like a lot. It looks like it on camera because I've noticed that when I play back the video, it looks like I'm just shaking and shaking and shaking away. But I'm not. It just, it doesn't come out. Break this up a little bit more. Complete seasoning on there. Then I'll put some garlic powder in here as well. Alright. 
tight. Put a little bit of garlic powder on here. Now this comes out, so I ain't got to worry about this. A little bit more soy sauce so it won't be dry. I don't like no dry rice. I'm staying up, no, 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 no. But if that's what you like, you do what you do. As I always say, it's your kitchen. You do what you want to do. I just don't like, I don't like mine super wet, but then I don't like it dry. Now I'm going to be choking while I'm eating. Trying to make sure all this rice gets some of that sauce on it. I still see some that's still kind of pale white. Right. I need a better spatula. That's what I need. I have this one, but I don't want to use it in here. I don't want to scratch my pan. So I'm just using this one. I think I'm going to put a little bit more salt free seasoning on there. So I can look at it until it need a little bit more seasoning. But no more garlic powder. Definitely no more garlic, garlic powder. Alright. I'm gonna get it some little taste. Let's see how this tastes before I take it out. It's a little bit of taste. Oh y'all, that's good. That's real good. Okay. So my fried rice is done. Then next I'm gonna move on to my veggies. my rice up out of here. All right. And then when I get ready to fry my veggies up, y'all, I'm going to go over, um, if I remember, I'm going to go over my price list with y'all. So just bear with me. I want y'all to see how much this made. Oh, and just so you know, this was two cups of, um, dried rice so you can kind of get an idea of how much um rice i made i made two cups of dried rice which it made a tremendous amount as you can see this is a lot of rice so i say even though honey we are struggling during this inflation a lot of us don't have two nickels to rub together. I just want people to know that you can still eat pretty decent meals and don't have to eat what I call struggle meals. But if you have to eat a struggle meal, honey, ain't nothing wrong with it because, hey, I do that over here too from time to time. I, um, I'm blessed that I don't have to do it because that's what I have to do. I do it because, you know, like I said, it's a blessing. It's just what I want. And I grew up on some struggle meals. <laughs> and those were the best meals in the world. And sometimes you just want some of that good old, old stuff that you grew up on. Simple stuff. Alright. I'm going to wash this out. Look at all that rice. That's a lot of rice. For two cups. So, like I said, this will give you an idea of, you know, based upon what's in your household, how much you need to cook. This is enough to feed four people. What I'm cooking tonight. So, I'm not feeding six tonight. I'm only going to do four. Hold on, y'all. I just don't want to sit down and look at the, the aisle thing. I'm going to get this YouTube thing right. I'm trying to wash out this pan. 
when I had cooked that rice earlier. Mm. y'all. Maybe I should have just left it alone. Always something, as I say. Always freaking something. Get it up the best I can. Keep it pushing. Oh, this stuff in here cooked hard. It's coming out, but it ain't coming out fast enough. I'm almost done. But anyway, while I'm trying to get this done, I guess I can just go over the price list. I was not expecting for this video to be this long. But hey, it's life. My kitchen ain't no different than y'all's. And as I've always said on this channel, baby, I don't put on no show. Let me get this on this pad real quick. So this pad don't get it out fast enough. I don't know what will. Anyway, yeah, it's getting it out now. Uh, I'm gonna go over the price list while I'm trying to clean this pan out real quick. For my price list, my onion just get, got me a small onion, forty cent. Zucchini and squash was on sale for ninety nine cent a pound, so I got a pound worth. So that's you know ninety nine cent, but I just I'm just gonna say a dollar. Yeah. I'm just gonna say a dollar. Um, you can get like a one pound bag of rice for a dollar. You can get uh, the smallest bag of peas and carrots that they have at Walmart for 89 cents. I tend to uh, wait and buy my chicken breast on sale when it's $1.99 a pound. So that's that's really the only time that I get my chicken breast on sale. So my chicken breast, I use a pound of chicken. So we're just gonna say two dollars for that. Brown sugar is a dollar. Soy sauce is one fifty nine. Sesame seed oil is three dollars and seventeen cent. And um, honey is three dollars and twenty eight cent. And the total came to fourteen dollars and thirty three cent for the ingredients that I'm using. Now these are prices based upon Walmart. Um, as I've always said, I try to use Walmart as a guide when I, you know, give out this price list because I just think Walmart is pretty much everywhere that you go. So that's just a store that, you know, I'm just giving out a basic price. But of course, shop your um, local stores, shop sales. I didn't pay that much for this meal. The majority of these items either came from um, Aldi, which made it super cheaper, or it came from my local uh, United Grocery. And so, uh, I didn't pay nowhere near $14.33 for this. And that's what I have to text. My ingredients, honestly, probably cost me about $10. But, that's just the, you know, goes to show that if you can... Go to other stores and you can shop around, get things on sale. Hey, you can make this meal for less than 15. Well, it's already less than 15, but even less than that. Okay. Thank y'all for bearing with me, honey. I had to get that pan clean. Whew. That was a job. Alrighty. Next thing I'm finna do, I'm finna um, cook up my veggies. I know while I'm preheating this, I'm going to go ahead and put some little seasoning on this. Because I forgot to season it earlier. And I'm just going to season this simple. This is salt free seasoning. I'm not going to put too much on there. At least I say that now. Y'all know how I get. Put some salt free seasoning in here. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic powder. Oh, shoot. Sorry, y'all. 
That's better. Y'all couldn't even see me. I'm sorry. This video going to be jacked up. Y'all get the gist of it, though. Let's put a little bit of garlic powder. And then I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper. I'm gonna put my sesame seed oil in here, and I know this pan should be hot. Yep. And then I'm just gonna fry up my veggies. Alrighty. Let that cook. Then after that, y'all. After this cook, after this cook, all will be left is the meat. Now, if you don't want to do your meat separate, um, you could have fried up the um, meat first and then just added it into the rice and then did the veggies and you would have been done. But as y'all know, I've often said about my picky eater son. So, um, this is why I'm cooking mine the way that I cook, because he's such the pickiest eater in the world. So, he'll eat the rice. Um, sometimes, sometimes he won't. I don't know. He might not even eat this. It just depends on how he, how he eats at the moment. Some days he'll eat it, some days he won't. But if he doesn't eat this... I have me plenty for today and tomorrow. I won't have to cook dinner and then I can take me home to work. And we still have some um, chicken, Brussels sprouts, and uh, potatoes and rolls left over from yesterday. I didn't film that, but I had picked some air fried chicken, some rolls, roasted Brussels sprouts, and uh, potatoes and onions that I had roasted up. I put a picture of it up on Facebook and some of the groups that I'm in but I didn't film it but if you're ever interested in seeing how mine turned out or how it looked or how I fixed it prepared it let me know I might put a little short up I forgot I could put some little shorts up so if I still got the little video in my phone I'll upload a short of it on the page and then if you're interested in learning or seeing, not learning, because you probably already know how to cook air fryer fries, but seeing how I prepare my air fryer, so, I said fries, wings, y'all. Just let me know, and the next time I prepare some, I'll do a video. But I'm just letting these cook up. So, so this is nothing spectacular that I'm doing. I'm pretty much done with this. I'm gonna put down the cookie stuff over here. I'm done with this. Let these cook up. And then after that, I do my chicken. And then I'm done. Quick, easy, simple meal. And like I said, this is enough right here to feed four people. So like I said, this is a pound of um, zucchini and squash. And then I honestly just type, uh, I said type, slice, two slices of the onion and put it in here. So if you're going to feed, you know, more than four. That kind of gives you an idea of how much you need to purchase or whatever. But you don't have to have a lot to go a long way. So I'm just going to let this saute up. I'm going to eat this good old fried rice with these veggies and some chicken. I'm going to do a dessert, but I'm not going to do it on this video. I don't even know if I'm going to have time to video my dessert. Because it's almost time for me to get ready to go to work. But, um, I'm going to do a no-bake dessert. 
I might do it tonight when I get home from work and just have it for the rest of the week. But this will be enough to fill me up. But I'm just saying that to say that if you're looking at this and you think it's not going to fill you and your family up, it'll fill me up because these veggies and stuff are filling. But if you think that, you know, hey, this is all I got and it's not going to fill us up, you don't want to, uh, you know, you don't have any more to fix, try thinking about a dessert that's, that's quick, sim simple, and easy to make that don't cost a lot of money. I'm doing a no-bake dessert. I'm going to do the one with the um, the pie. I got the, the pie crust. What you call that? The graham cracker crust. And then I got some vanilla pudding and Cool Whip. And then I got some coconut flakes that I'm going to toast on top of it. So that's going to be our no-bake dessert. Our coconut cream pie, as I call it. And that's a good way to make sure that, hey, you just have that little something extra sweet to eat. And that, uh, you know, hit the spot, as I like to say, if you don't think this will. But that's my opinion. This is more than enough, honey. But everybody's stomachs are different. And you can fix your veggies, you know, as crispy as you want or as soft as you want. Everybody likes their veggies different. I'm going to put a little lid on here to kind of help it move along a little bit faster. Because I don't get on here a little bit too long. Longer than what I expected because my, my pan had messed up on me. It wouldn't, wouldn't get clean on me. And this is the last thing, y'all, that I'm going to do. This is my chicken that I was uh, sharing with y'all. I just got it out the fridge. I washed my hands after I touched this. I don't want to hit nothing. But um, yeah, I just cubed it up. You know, like I said, I washed it. I cubed it up. I seasoned it with lemon pepper garlic powder and salt free seasoning and then I've been marinating it in this sauce that I made I'm gonna wash my finger real quick and this sauce that I made was soy sauce honey brown sugar and sesame seed oil hold on y'all I think this my child out here I'm busting him making all this noise now that's my next door neighbor making all that noise. Okay, they got company. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, this smells so good. This smells delicious. Oh, my goodness, it smells good. Woo! Alright, these veggies are done enough for me. I'm going to go on and take them out. And then I'm going to get ready and fry up my chicken. Look at all these veggies, y'all. It's a lot of veggies. Cool enough to feed four people. True cool enough, and I don't consider this to be a struggle meal, so that's why I do these videos. I've been talking to a lot of people, and they often say, you know, they only got 10, 15, 20 dollars to spend, and, and they just go get some noodles or some raviolis, and, and I'm just like, y'all, um, you know, I don't judge people. I'm not trying to come off judgmental because I don't want to hear that crap. Okay, hear this one. But I just want to tell people that, hey, you can too. Still eat good, although we're struggling. You know, I'm struggling too. I said in my last video, honey, if you're not struggling, please tell us how you getting by and not struggling so that we all can be in the same boat of not struggling. Because I am struggling. 
but I just try to eat good filling, good taste and filling meals. And truth be told, all of this came from my pantry. As I've been telling y'all, I've been pantry cooking, with the exception of the um, course of zucchini and the uh, squash. But I purchased that last week at the grocery store. So I needed to cook this up. So yeah, I purchased this last week. I haven't even been to the grocery store this week. So I'm truly pantry cooking this week. Truly pantry cooking this week. Okay, I'm just gonna put this lid on there so it can help it cook a little bit faster. And then once this chicken cook up, I'ma add this extra sauce on it. And then y'all, this meal will be done. I have these uh, sesame seeds that I'm just gonna put on top of my chicken. Um, I didn't include this in the price because it was in my cabinet, and I honestly didn't even purchase these. My mom gave me these. So, I didn't include that in my price. If I didn't have this in my cabinet and my mama didn't give them to me, I certainly would not have purchased those. But, if that's something you want to purchase, hey, by all means, you know, do what you do. But, I'm just going to let that uh, chicken cook up. And while that chicken cooking up, I'm just going to go and wash these a little bit of dishes real quick. But... That's pretty much it, y'all. I mean, I don't know what else to say. Just let that chicken cook up, and then I'll show y'all how much food it makes. And then my meal is done. And I can take me take me some to work for when I get hungry. Because yesterday, when I had cooked that food, I just didn't feel like eating at the time. And I didn't take it to work with me and ended up regretting it. I was hungry. And I ended up eating a little bite at work, but I get tired of eating food at work. Just so you know, on the weekends, I work at a fast food restaurant, so you see that food all day. You don't be wanting that food. At least I don't. But, um, I had to get me something in my stomach because I had to start feeling a little bit lightheaded. Being around all those ovens and stuff, so I went on and broke down and fixed me something to eat. Not what I wanted to do, but... I've learned my lesson from yesterday. So I will be taking some of this to work with me today. So when I get hungry, I can nibble on these. And easy cleanup too. That's another thing about this meal. Very simple and easy cleanup. I would